Position vectors of point X and Z are 8i plus 3j minus 4k and 4i plus 6j minus 2k respectively. If Z divides line XY in the ratio 9 is to negative 5, find the coordinates of Y. So by looking at this ratio, in which Z is dividing XY, 9 is to negative 5, because of that negative, you notice that this is external division of a line. So let me begin by drawing a sketch of this point so that you can see uh, the external division. So we'll put point X, assuming that point X is there, and then point Y there, then Z dividing XY externally will be located, let's say, somewhere there. Then the ratio, 9 is to negative 5. This is how we, we put the ratio. So from x all the way to z that will be 9 then from z to y that will be negative 5 that is how we go about the external division then because these are position vectors they are vectors with reference from the origin let me create a point o somewhere here purposes of calculation so let me join so from z so then here, so we have point O here. So we have vector OX, vector OY, and vector OZ, like that. Now to find the coordinates of Y, we shall get that by finding OY. When we find vector OY, that will give us the coordinate of Y. So OY is what we need to find to get the coordinates of Y. And you're going to apply or use the ratio theorem to do this. And to begin with, I will let negative 5 to be M, that will be M, then 9 to be N. And this is how we are going to use the ratio theorem to do this. So we shall do it like this, M divided by M plus N, multiply the vector opposite M, which is OX plus N divided by m plus n the vector opposite n is oz this is the ratio theorem so we just need to substitute these values so therefore oi is equals to m which is negative 5 divided by m plus n we just take negative 5 plus 9 which will give us 4 then ox ox we are going to write ox in column form so OX be given by 8I, we extract the coefficient of I, J, and K, 8, I, 3J, and negative 4K. Then OZ is 4I, is given by the position vector of Z, 4I, so 4, 6J, which is 6, then negative 2K. So this is what you're going to substitute here. So for OX, substitute that one with 8, 3, negative 4 like that, then plus n, which is 9, then m plus n will give 4, oz, 4, 6, negative 2. So now we open the brackets by multiplying negative 5 over 4 times 8, that will give negative 10, negative 5 over 4 times 3, that will give uh, negative 15 over 4, then negative 5 over 4 times negative 4, that will give 5, plus 9 over 4 times 4, you get 9, 9 over 4 times 6, you get 27 over 2. 9 over 4 times negative 2, you get negative 9 over 2, like that. Then now we add negative 10 times 9, negative 10 plus 9, negative 15 over 4 plus 27 over 2. Then 5 subtract 9 over 2, like that. And this will give negative 10 plus 9, you get negative 1. Negative 15 over 4 plus 27 over 2. Use a calculator to do this. It will give uh, 39 over 4. Like, then 5 subtract 9 over 2. You get a half. Therefore, OY is given by negative 1, 39 over 4 and a half. But this is not what you are required to do. You are required to give it in coordinate form. So the coordinate of Y is supposed to be written in this form. Negative 1. That 10 over 4, you can express that one as a mixed fraction, which will give 9 and 3 quarters and half. So that is how we use the ratio theorem to find the coordinates of y.